You know, I started in the field of ALS in 1994, and at that time there was one drug on the market, Rilazole, and there were just a handful of people studying this illness and really not many people doing clinical trials. That has completely changed now, um, where there's thousands of investigators all over the world studying ALS. There's a lot of knowledge about how to do trials, and there's a lot of therapeutic ideas. My passion has been always to find treatments for people with ALS and to speed up the process, to get rid of inefficiencies, because our families don't have time uh, for any inefficiency. So one of the things we've done is to um, set up something called a central IRB, where if we're going to do a clinical trial, there's one review of the protocol, and, and all the centers can start. So that alone has cut down development time by a year. So I don't like to just sit back and, and say we accomplished something, and now I'm tackling the next inefficiency. And that is um, that we have a lot of therapeutic ideas, but if we do one trial at a time, we're going to still be here 20 years from now, and that's way too slow. So I want to adopt some uh, technologies and approaches that are used in oncology, and that's this idea of a platform trial, about um, testing multiple things in the same trial um, and having quick readouts of something, if something works or not, so that we can take the best ideas forward faster. Now, if we can set this up in ALS, um, we are going to speed up the process 10 or 20 fold. And so there, there's interest in doing this, we're getting the right people together, we're learning from our colleagues in oncology, and this is really a must uh, for ALS. And we really want to raise some philanthropy to support setting up this process so we can uh, get, get the cures for our patients uh, much, much faster.